have about 30 minutes. Feels good just to play some music. But, you know, after watching Pastor Joe's sermon, man, I wish I had a band. Let me see if my brothers can play with me. Hey, are you guys free? Do you think you would want to play some music really quick? Yeah? Okay, come on over. I'm just chilling in the chat. Okay, sounds good. Bye! Hmm. My brothers! It has been quite some time since we were able to play together like this, huh? Good to see you, my compadres. I might be a tad bit rusty, but I'll work out the kinks. Man, it's cause like, you don't practice, right? <laughs> like, life's all about the good vibes and, you know, practicing good habits. It's totally good for your soul, you know? Aye, that be true, that be true. It isn't, you know, every day that you can practice with your brothers like this, you know? It's been a while, my laddies. Can we please just get on with it? All right, all right, all right. Let's get on with it. Drew, go ahead, set that beat. And then Hugh, play that bass. And then Stu, you got the keyboard. I got the guitar. And Lou, take it away. Ah, good grief. Talk about Bruno, no, no, no. We don't talk about Bruno. Hey. Good morning, Kingdom Kids. Welcome to our last March Sunday worship. Are you guys ready to have an amazing day? Great. Some of you are looking at me kind of weird. Was it because of my brothers? <sighs> I know, I know. I never told you guys, but I have four other identical brothers. Their names are Lou, Stu, Hugh, and Drew. What can I say? I just forgot to mention them. Anyways, it was nice having them, just being able to play and just enjoy a little bit of this Sunday morning before worship, which is great. Are you guys ready for worship? Let's go ahead and get started. First things first, let's take everything that's in our hands, anything that might be bothering us, let's put it on the ground and keep our hands clear. And then once that's done, let's go ahead and get out our worship candles. Mm -hmm. So, in person, it's time for our worship candle lighter to go up and light our worship candle. And for those of you online, it's time to ask a parent to help you light that candle. Bada bing. Bada boom. Once they're lit, let's all say John chapter 8 verse 12 together. Nice and loud. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. John chapter 8, verse 12. Awesome. Now, let's take our hands. Go like this. And go like this. And bow our heads. Close our eyes. And let's pray. Dear God, we just want to thank you for bringing everyone online or in person today. 
It is so amazing to see how many amazing children we have in Kingdom Kids. And to just see this worship room and our online presence just be so, so full. We want to give thanks also for the beautiful creation we get to see outside. You are such an amazing God and just we ask that you would open our hearts and our minds so that we would be able to hear your word today and learn something new. We ask this and we love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You guys know really well that this month's life application is all about cooperation. You know, working together so that you can do more than what you would be able to do alone, right? Well, I was thinking about it and I was like, you know, I think there's a way that we all cooperate every Sunday. Yeah. And I was like, I think praise time is a great way to demonstrate what cooperation looks like. Because, well, one, we have our praise team leaders who go up at the front and we follow them and we work together to praise God. And I was like, wow, cooperation can be in anything, right? So in the spirit of cooperation, why don't we all stand up, get some space so that we can begin our time of amazing praise. Let's go, praise team. Woo! Savior, have you heard of his perfect love? Have you heard of the one in heaven? Have you heard how he gave his son? Cause I have found this love. I believe in the sun. Show me your
by your grace there was nothing that we could do We're changed by your blood you're making all things new with your spirit in us we're sealed for a life Isn't cooperating during praise so much more fun than just doing it alone? It, I love seeing you guys praise because you guys are some awesome dancers. Let me ask you a question. This is a test. When I said that it was time for praise and you heard the music start playing, how many of you stood up? And guess what? I didn't even tell you to stand up. And you stood up before anything happened. Why? Because you got into the habit of standing for praise, right? And that's a pretty good habit. Well, for those of you who did stand up, I think you guys have a little bit of a head start on today's bottom line. Because today's bottom line is all about making good habits. Let's read it together nice and loud. Make a habit of working together. See, you guys already have a good habit of working together by standing when it's time for praise. You guys are like superstars at that. Well, even though you guys are pros, there's still a lot of ways we can learn how to make good habits revolving around cooperation. So why don't we take a look at today's Bible story? It comes from the book of Acts. In the second chapter, verses 42 to 47. And you already know, I got my boy, Kellen, who is going to lead us in this Bible story. Take it away, Kellen. Take it away, Kellen. Hmm. Oh, why don't I just call my brothers again? I'm sure they'd love to help out. Hey, do you guys want to help out? Great! Let's take a listen to this Bible story. So today's Bible story is all about cooperation and working together. And specifically, it's about the early church. Well, in the book of Acts, which was written by a man named Luke, he tells us a little bit about the early church and how they needed to work together daily in order to survive. Here's what he wrote. The believers studied what the apostles taught. They shared their lives together. They ate and prayed together. The early church cooperated with each other. Oh, that's kind of like how us brothers got together this morning, huh? To play that song? Yup. But here's the thing. The early church worked in more than one way. Take a look at what Luke says. All the believers were together. They shared everything they had. They sold property and other things they owned. They gave to anyone who needed something. <laughs> oh, so like, kind of like how we all like grew up together, started like sharing our clothes that we had. Like, because we didn't have a lot of money. So we used to like share clothes. And remember when mom took those pictures of us? <laughs> like when we were hanging out and like eating food and playing games but like we were all wearing the same outfit <laughs> that's rad cause like <laughs> that's rad cause like we're all like brothers you know like family and like but they they weren't family huh exactly Hugh even though they weren't family 
like they were born from the same family, they still looked out for each other. Why? Because during that time, it was very difficult and dangerous to be a believer of Jesus. So they had to work together by giving each other what they needed that they might have and helping each other in ways that they could only do by cooperation. Ah, yes. I suppose we do do a lot more working together and cooperating than we might think. The early believers did everything together. They prayed together, they ate together, they worshipped together, they shared together. And guess what? People began to notice. That's right. Just because these believers, these early church people, they were cooperating and working together and helping each other, sharing and eating together, people who were not believers, they began to notice. And they began to get a little curious of who these people were and why they were so different. Take a look at what Luke says. Their hearts were glad and sincere. They praised God. They were respected by all the people. Every day the Lord added to their group those who were being saved. You see, people who are not believers, they saw what these believers had. They saw the, the great community and cooperation and good habits of working together, and they just felt like, oh man, whatever those Jesus believers have, I want that too. Aye, aye, that be something we all know well and sure. But when we were we, laddies, all the people used to say that we had something of a true beauty. Our relationship as brothers made others want to have something special like us. Don't you think? Yeah, that's right, Stu. You see, because the believers had such a good set of habits of cooperation and working together, not only were they able to survive during this dangerous time for them, but they got noticed by other people in a good way. Other people were like, man, they're awesome. They have something that I want for myself. Their good habits encouraged non-believers to be better. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that could happen today? Aye. That's rad. Yes, sir. Yeah. All right, brothers. Thanks for helping me out. See you at dinner. Guys, the new leaders and the believers of the early church were so good at their habits of cooperation and working together that they were an encouragement to anyone who saw them. And that's something that we all need to work on too. But today's Bible story and this entire month's theme of cooperation is trying to encourage all of us to be a little bit more brave, just a little bit, maybe a lot of it, to be more brave, to go out and work with one another so that we can make good habits of cooperating. It doesn't just end with us and what we're doing and working together with. Because when we're working together and other people see, they can recognize that that's something that they want too. And we can be an encouragement to everyone that we meet by working together and making good habits. And why is that amazing? Because through our lives and through our actions and through cooperating with one another and making good habits of working together, we can show the world who God is and who Jesus is. And that, I think that's something that's worth it. All right, let's pray. Dear God, what an amazing way to end this month. We are reminded again how important it is for us to make it a good habit to work together and cooperate. Teach us, God, how to be a confident and um, how to work with each other. We just want to thank you for this lesson and this worship. And oh, God, we just love you so much. And you're an amazing God. And we pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, let's all take out our offering. And if you are online, go ahead and just hold it like this as we sing the doxology together. But if you're in person, please make a single file line, no pushing, no touching, and respectfully place your offering into the offering bin.
And once you're done, have a seat and join us all in singing the doxology. Let's all say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. Oh, I am the kingdom. The power and the glory forever. Alrighty, guys, that is all for this Sunday. I hope you had a good one. It was it was good for me because one, I can spend time with you guys, and I get to work with you and learn with you, and it's just awesome. I really hope that you guys are able to go out through this week and in the rest of your lives learning that working together is so amazing. And the more we work together, the more we cooperate, the better our habits will become and the more the world will get to know who God is through our lives. One good habit at a time. All right, see you all next month for our new theme. All right, peace out.